This is Terry with YarCoach.com. Welcome to day 10 of our 20 days of turning obstacles into opportunities here on YarCoach Facebook. This last five days, we've been talking about developmental stages and how to help yourself and your kids through that. And recently, I was talking to a uh, mental health worker at a big uh, triage for adolescents. Um, in need of psychiatric care. And he is a trainer in CPS. If you don't know what CPS is, it's um, collaborative problem solving. So when they have kids come through there with huge issues, it's his job to train the parents and how to help the kids solve these problems collaboratively together when they get back home. And he was telling me about these parents he was speaking to whose kid had tried to commit suicide unsuccessfully, gladly. And now they were going to take the kid home, and he was talking to them about, you know, what they could do and how they could manage that. And they said, well, she needs to make good grades because she's got to get into college. And he just said, listen, she won't be here to go to college if you aren't able to manage this stage and you aren't able to work with her on solving the real problem, which is not college and grades, it's the fact that she thinks she doesn't want to live. And so they were so attached for so many years, for so long, on their kid getting to a good college, for whatever reasons their background thought that was the premier thing in their kid's life. They were so attached to that, that it took them a bit, and, and you know, intelligent people, it took them a bit to come down to, wait a minute, Let's look at what's really going on here. And that's what it, what we do, right? When we are super attached to outcomes, we are blind to everything else that's going on. And sometimes it takes something like a COVID crisis or any other kind of crisis to sort of slow us down and to say, wait a minute, let me take a look at this. And so in my experience, attachment to outcome is perhaps the greatest obstacle on the parenting path, but it's the one that teaches us the most about the importance of non-attachment. We commonly perceive our kids as extensions of ourselves, imagining based on our own experience and our going through our own developmental stages um, that we know what's best for them. When really our job is to enjoy and shepherd these people in our sphere, in our home that we've contracted to parent to enjoy and shepherd them while they navigate their own personal path. And so one of the ways that I help parents sort of back up and take a look to attachment is asking them to ask themselves, and I'll ask you this today, why did you become a parent? And I don't know the answer to that, but I know it's always a choice. So when people say, well, I didn't have a choice, nope, nope, we all have, we all have the choice. Many people terminate pregnancies. Many people give up their kids for adoption. They, we all have a choice. And so to take a look at why you made that choice and how that affects your attachment to your kids. See, any relationship, parenting included, requires mutual symbiosis. You remember that old bio term from high school biology where it's good for both. So there's a payoff for you in becoming a parent. I don't know what that is, but it's just good for you to begin to think about what that payoff is and how it might be affecting the personal development of your child. So the obstacle today is to look at your attachment to outcome. The outcome. I think my kid needs to graduate this way. My kid needs to go to school here. My kid needs to whatever you think they need to do, especially now, right now, today, a lot is going on in our world about how to open schools, if we should open schools. Parents are choosing to homeschool, to get in-school tutors, to send their kids back to school. You know, whatever you're doing, it's a very personal choice. But what you want to make sure as is that the opportunity for you is to be open to another way than the one you've been attached to, to possibly... 12 years of school and then college and then move on into life. If that, I know I was attached to that for my own kids. That was the way it was going to have to be. And so the obstacle today is your attachment to outcome. Take a look at that. The opportunity is to open yourself to other possibilities and not that they're terrible. <laughs> 
open yourself to the possibilities that this new way may be good and may be the best and may be the better way depending on where your child is in their life stages of development. So good luck with that today on day 10. So happy you joined me here. Um, from 11 through 15, we'll be talking about other bigger choices. But today we're talking about your choices as you proceed through these developmental stages. Okay? Thanks for being here. Bye for now.